This is Nate Adams with Energy Smart Home Performance, and I want to walk you through a product that I was set to demo. This is a Particles Plus particle counter. Uh, it's their 5000 series. They also have a 7000 series that has a battery in it, uh, where this one you can see I have to plug in. Uh, but I uh, found this to be a really nice unit, and I want to say thank you for Adam G over there uh, for sending it over. Uh, I would pronounce Adam's last name, but I would butcher it horribly. It's Italian, and it has like 15 or 20 characters to it. It's one of the longest names I've seen. So good job, Adam. Uh, I hope you could spell that before you were in second grade. Uh, uh, but uh, in any case, I'll walk you through how this works. I, I have found I really like this. Uh, one of the big things that this does is it gives you real-time feedback where I also have an error advice and you don't find out what happened until you upload the data after the fact. So it's not necessarily useful for finding problems where this is. So Adam comes from the clean room industry and so this is really a scaled down clean room instrument. Uh, so this is a fairly expensive unit. This is 4000 or so. Um, not exactly sure on the, the exact cost. Um, uh, you'd have to talk to uh, Particles Plus about that, but I'll walk you through how this thing works. So uh, uh, if you note on the home screen here, uh, you can see it shows you the relative humidity and the carbon dioxide all the time. Now I'm breathing near it, so it's picking me up. Uh, it'll drop to you know, four or five hundred. Uh, I live right on a uh, state route, so you may hear some trucks going by during this video. Um, and uh, but it's, it's nice that I can see this, so I have an idea of what's going on. Now, this also will show you all kinds of things. You can see over here, there's uh, the particle sizes. And uh, this is a pump here that pumps almost three liters a minute through it. And then it can count exactly how many uh, particles it detects at the various sizes. So there's a laser in here. Really cool thing is these sizes are configurable in here. So say you're looking for a piece of pollen and you know it's between, it's say 0.6 microns, you can set it up for between 0.55 and 0.65 and bin it and find out uh, how many of that particle uh, there is uh, for a homeowner. So pretty slick. So I'm gonna turn the pump on. Ooh. Oops, I can't leave it running. And uh, the pump is definitely a little bit noisy. I clocked it at 75 decibels. Uh, uh, but uh, that's the brakes. Uh, uh, so if you're going to use this, you can put a hose on the end of this and hide it in a closet or something like that where uh, the occupants are less likely to notice the noise. But uh, what I think is pretty slick is you can change exactly what is shown here. So like it's on particle count right here, but you can change it to uh, the, how many it's finding per cubic foot per cubic meter and then the weight so micrograms uh, per uh, cubic meter and I just find this to be very slick and nice to see uh, so then if you take a look over here uh, you can uh, I plugged it in as my kitchen and uh, the sample is a minute long so you'll see this reset in a second and the hold is zero so it just instantly goes for the next cycle but you can set it so that you wait in between the cycles and uh, you can make it last longer because it'll hold 45,000 records uh, which is about a week of every minute records so uh, uh, this is one of the main screens here but I can flip over to one of the other main screens this one I find very useful the radio buttons down here you can select which particle size you want to watch and uh, on other screens it will show up but then you can also use this to sniff things out so say you're looking for something in this particle range this is its sensitivity meter here so I can make it really sensitive so it spikes but then I can back it off and then go walk around with this unit and try and figure out where the source of those particles are so if you know you have an issue or you suspect you have an issue, you can actually use this real time to sniff out issues, which is pretty slick. It also does data logging, and there's much more data logging behind this as well, um, uh, but this shows you the real time. And this is the channel two that I just selected on another screen. And then this is kind of the, the main screen. Uh, so you can see what's going on uh, 
in the room. So it just nice cycles through all of that. You can also set this up uh, for how it's going to record the data and if you plug in a USB you can download it onto that and then put it onto your computer as well uh, to play with that data. And in the settings, I really think this is slick. You can change what size particles you're looking for. That's what I was mentioning earlier. That's just that's incredibly cool that it has that capability. Uh, so that gives you just a quick overview of what this thing does. And I just find it to be a very useful tool. Um, uh, I don't do enough indoor air quality work right now to probably justify it. Uh, but uh, I can see it coming my way. And when that happens, this is definitely going to be a tool that's going to be high on my list. So thank you, Adam, for sending this to me to play with. Uh, I've had a lot of fun.